Hello, Kevin Wembley, criminal defense lawyer here in Central Arkansas, offices in Little Rock, Cabot, and Searcy. Talking today about the public defender, why they don't return your calls, why they're not doing anything, and why you're not going to get a great experience with a public defender. So I want to start this off because we get a lot of these calls all the time. The client will call up public defenders not doing anything, haven't returned their calls, you know, all of that. Well, my standard answer to that is no shit, man. I mean, you get what you pay for, so there's no complaining about it. Law firms are the only business in the world where people expect to walk in and get top-notch work absolutely for free. You wouldn't go into Burger King and expect to get a free cheeseburger. You wouldn't expect to go to a hotel and get a free night. Uh, people just think, oh, I get a lawyer doing it for free. That'll work great for me. So just as a practical matter, if you're going with a public defender, that's just one step above representing yourself. So let's talk into some of the pragmatic aspects of how the public defender works and why you're not going to get a whole lot out of that. So first off, we want to address there's two types of public defenders. The first is your career public defender. That's what they do full time. It, it's their whole job. And then you have the second type of public defender that's a private lawyer like me who's doing this on contract. So let's talk about the first one, your full-time public defender. They're a government employee. They are way overworked. You've got one person handling two, 3,000 cases. And the reason that they are is in America, we call too many things crimes. We have the highest arrest rate of any civilized country. We have the highest incarceration rate. All that's for a later date. But the point of the matter is way too many things are crimes in Arkansas. We have way too many people getting arrested for things they shouldn't be arrested for. So when we're talking about these full-time public defenders, they've got a stack of thousands of cases that no one can get to and handle properly. And if I'm being honest, if I was a full-time public defender, I wouldn't do any better than them either. And you got to remember too, probably 80, 90% of their case files, the person is guilty as all get out. There's just not much of a way to defend it. And they get just completely jaded about it. And so, yeah, they're going to spend five minutes on it here or there. They're just going to shove a piece of paper in front of you. They're going to want you to waive your right to a jury trial. They're going to want you to plead to the deal because all they're concerned about is getting that cl case closed, not have to mess with the trial and move on. Now let's switch gears to the other type of public defender. That's a private lawyer like me, but they have a contract to be a public defender in certain courts. And this is even a bigger racket. It's even worse. Because like if you go over to Lone Oak County, there's all these Little Rock lawyers over there that have the public defender contracts. And they are making fifty to a hundred thousand a year getting all the state benefits, building up that fat state retirement, and they don't give two shits about your case. They're almost even worse than the career public defender. Because when you got this type of public defender, first concern is his private practice where he's making his real money. So those are the clients that are gonna get the actual attention. So when you have this type of a public defender, you're gonna get even less of their time than the career public defender. And again, they want to spend just the minimum amount of time possible. They don't make any more if they win. They don't make any more if they get it suppressed. Nothing like that. So you're probably only going to hear from them on the court date or the day before. You can probably never schedule a meeting with them. You can probably never return their phone calls. And the reason is they're essentially losing money every time that they talk to you, every time that they do some work for you. So they're just going to want to shove that piece of paper in your face, wave your right to the jury trial so they don't have to mess with that. And then they're just going to push you into a plea deal so they can close the case and be done with it. If you're in the situation where you, you just can't afford a private lawyer, I get it. I understand that. But just understand what you're getting when you get that public defender. You get what you pay for, and there's nothing more expensive than that free lawyer. If you can't hire a lawyer, then you want to make every effort to do that. And if you've seen in our other videos, we have financing options. We have ways of getting things done. But it's the difference between one lawyer having 3,000 cases that he's not paying any attention to versus when you get a private firm like us, you have a team that's working on 200 cases and that we're actually getting the best possible result in every single case because we're actually looking at all the details of it. But if you want that done, it's going to have to be paid for. If you get that public defender, they're just part of that system that's coming after you. So good luck and we'll see you again next time.